And we're up and running, rocking and rolling. You guys know what it is. It's another episode of the American Cholo Podcast, the voice of the people. I am your host, Gil, the American Cholo. And of course, the co-host, Boo Boo Bear, is in the house. Right. What's up? What's we going can't, on? Even though we can't see him. <laughs> Uh, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, the wrong that's, the wrong, that's the wrong boo-boo bear. That's the wrong <laughs> boo-boo bear. Yeah. There you go. You, you get it, Chris. You get it. All right, man. And today I have a very special guest of ours here coming all the way from Diego. First of all, thank you so much for coming from there. We got the homie uh, Hoodie Hood from Rolling 40s Neighborhood. Carib. Is that, is that right? Is that Carib? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking to the mic, Hoodie. Come on. Don't be shy now, yeah, baby. Yeah, definitely. So, so what's up, Hood? How was that drive, man? Um. It was cool. It wasn't even wasn't that bad except my boy be kind of swerving sometimes. <laughs> is that because he's smoking? Or is that nah. Just, it will or because he's texting? A little bit of both? All of the above. All of the, all of the above, huh? He, he don't let me play DJ. So. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What you guys bumping over here, man? Uh, he, This what? dude be bumping all kind of stuff. What, what's he bump, what, what you bumping over there, man? What's on your playlist? Yeah, my, my, <laughs> mine's too. I go, I go from fucking rock to yeah. rap to everything else. Rock today. Uh, no rock today, huh? Well, you got the Ice Cube fucking shirt on, so yeah. he listens to Cube. Yeah, he knows what's up. <laughs> That's right, homeboy. All right, so you know, let's get right into this, homie. Where were you born and raised at, carnal? Um, Southeast San Diego. Born and raised. Born and raised, um, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I think the first house I lived in that I can remember was like in the, um, kind of like the West Coast 30 slash Golden Hills. Like, I don't know if you ever heard of like Lomas, that area. Of course. Yeah, like that might have been the first house. Then I moved on 47th Street, but like across Imperial, like in a rival area. Right where we're from your neighborhood. Yeah. And and when did you actually start seeing like uh, gangs and all that? Because it's always one time that we eventually start, you know. Um, from the beginning. From the beginning of time. It's pictures of me like two years old, like with these on. Really? <laughs> Can they see that? Yeah. 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 With these on. You know, little baby flannel braids. Oh, is yeah. that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. You, you were that neighborhood baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. You, you, and then you see the older dudes with 40 ounces and Jerry curls holding them. Oh, yeah. shit. That, that look, type of shit. Looking like a Kendrick Lamar fucking. Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. No, so so who, was, uh, who was the gang members in uh, in your family? Um, For the most part, my older brother. Okay. How, how much older is he than you? Three years. Okay. So, so But how, how did you end up? My mom, too, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so your mom was in, in the hood or yeah. just around her all the time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Same neighborhood? Yeah. And, and what neighborhood is that? 40 something. All right. Neighborhood. Just checking, homie. Just you, checking. Hey, you said it. You said it. Checking, homie. Just making sure, yeah. Karnan. So, how long has Rolling 40s actually been out there? Um, since 1974. Oh, Jesus, okay. really? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, let's get into that. So, how, now, now are you guys like a, a subset from a LA Rolling 40s or, or is, we, is there a Rolling 40s in, in, in Los Angeles? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was just over there when I was waiting for you. You want to tap in over there real quick? That's yeah, right, boy. yeah, I was just over there. So, um, so how do, how does how does Rolling Forties migrate or start up in uh in San Diego? Um, it's real tricky, but we actually were first. A lot of people don't know that. Um, they didn't come out till probably like 1980, 81. Really? Yeah, that area was a collection of different gangs, including it was a four tray Hoover over there, um, in the dark side area. But everybody know that. But um, my older homie, he was actually from Harlem, right. Harlem Crip out here. Okay. Okay. And uh, he moved to San Diego. They had a program. Some older homies did. I don't know if you've seen the First Street TV that I was on with I, my older I, homies. I saw him, yes. Yeah, they explained it a little better. I wasn't around, so I hate to try to no, explain no, no. it. Well, you're going to explain it the best you can. Yeah. I mean, it's 100 percent. So he right. moved. He moved. They had like a program for troubled youth in L.A., and they were sending them to go live in other places. Even Tookie and all them, when they had yeah. the Red House, they moved to like IE first before they moved to Compton okay. over there by the Santanas. Yes. So the dude, uh, what was his name, Bob something? Yeah. Um, I don't know. They say it all the time on Kev Mac. But anyways, they had little programs like that for trouble youth to deter them from gangs. And a lot of people ended up in San Diego. Okay. So And, and, and in our streets is the 40s, so... Oh, so it just it just yeah, worked out. Like the, yeah. all the streets over there. Like I got 49th Street tatted right here. Oh, okay. So, okay. So you guys claim all the 40s on the yeah, streets. Yeah, right. And Actually, then, all the way down to 36. And then when when the when the 40s started out in uh, Los Angeles, right? Now they in the bottoms. That's what's where they're at. South Central. Okay, South West Central. Side. Okay, so when the when the 40s started in uh, South Central, did they know anybody from Diego at the time? Do you know? Nah. 
So, so when nah. did you guys actually start? Because you, I mean, those are your homies. Well, right? um, yeah, they, they definitely the homies. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think some of the people from Harlem 30s, which is across Martin Luther King Boulevard, lived on that side of Martin Luther King in the 40s. And I think that they wanted them to be a part of Harlem, and they started their own thing because they lived on that side of King. That's really what happened. Somebody so it's just up on you. it's just coincidence. The streets. And, yeah. then, and then, how long have you guys been pretty tight with? Like, now you guys are pretty much the same thing. But how long has that relationship been? Um, as far as you know, or as far as you can remember, as far as I know, um, I mean, it was homies going to YA back in the eighties yeah. and the nineties and, and stuff both like that. The same shit. Yeah. yeah. So I think it probably more so started in the nineties, right? Um, to where homies that get out and either come up here or they come down near each other. Yeah. yeah so. That's right. That's right. So how did you yourself go about eventually getting into, into your hood? Um, how did I go about it? Yeah. Did you, were you I hanging mean, out with the homies for, I knew you yeah, grew up with them. But yeah. It was did, just, it did was you outside. Walk in or did they jump you in? Um, we wasn't doing, some people get jumped in, but for the most part, if you lived over there, went to elementary school, went to middle school, gompers over there, like, you're going to squabble, though. you for sure yeah. going to, they're going to test your heart. <laughs> okay. But it wasn't like no 10 people jumping on me, but did I have to fight one-on-one multiple times? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that was just pretty much you hanging out. We could be smoking and drinking, and the homie would just be like, especially an older homie or my brother, somebody around his age, they'd be like, hey, y'all two, get down. Like that, huh? Just like that. <laughs> and that was, that was nonstop. Oh, so, shit. I mean, hey, that'll teach you how to fight real quick. Right, right. And well, it ain't no, I don't feel like it. Like, a homie might just get off on you if you acting like that. But, and plus, I didn't, I, my brother is a somebody. Right. So, yeah. I'm not, I can't make him look bad because then he going to get on me. So, I'd rather fight the dude my age right. than to fight him. Of course. So it was easy. <laughs> so, you actually grew up in the neighborhood as a, as a, as a baby. Um, yeah. Some other homies, they would get jumped in at, like, 13 right. years old, start coming around. Yeah, so, now I went to so elementary school over of there. Your neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You, you want to grab that COVID mask off the table? <laughs> <laughs> it just it hits the camera. <laughs> I, I see everything, hoodie. Don't trip. Right. I'll, put it. I'll get you a new one, brother. Don't even trip about that COVID I'll mask. Put it right. No, oh, man. Hey, COVID in the eight ball pocket. Yeah, drop it in there. Drop it in there. Drop it in there. All right, cool. So, other guys, they would get jumped in the hood, right? Yeah, people who come from somewhere else or they yeah. might have been a bad kid lived somewhere far got locked up met some homies in there exchange numbers when you come out yeah they're gonna jump on you but you guys we don't know seconds you. or what do you guys how long are you guys doing i don't even know about no seconds they just beat your ass today. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't have no certain seconds yeah because like, yeah, everybody yeah, has like we're yeah, gonna do yeah, this yeah. Second, it's, it's like bro, everybody get tired we just want to <laughs> see you perform if you're not performing they're gonna keep on whooping on you and if you're performing too good to where you outshining the homies that's putting you Which on it happens. yeah, yeah. yeah. It happens. and now we really got to get on you yeah <laughs> it had been times where it had been somebody probably like 16 years old getting put on right and yeah. he's beating up to two or three people and it ain't no more little homies and the older homie might clip them boom yeah, right. yeah. You got to you got Yeah, you can't come out on top. Yeah. <laughs> Especially getting jumped in. Right, yeah, right. right. <laughs> so, when, what year did you actually, well, what year did you start actually claiming it? Or were you, when you were a kid, you've always just said? You were from yeah, as a little kid, but I would say my first year off the porch, like really trying to put in work, right? Jumping on the buses, going with the homies to the mall to go start shit was 2001. Okay, so, 2001. And, and what neighborhoods are around you guys? Um, a lot of Damus. It's it's predominantly Damus out there. And do you guys you guys beef one another? Or? Of course. So, so you guys do beef one because it was a portion. It was a time in LA that 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 bloods were not beefing one another, right? Or it's, I mean, I guess by the time your era came in, you guys already yeah yeah. So yeah. so you guys beef with a bunch of Damus, but you also got Essies that live close to you guys too, right? right? What 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 Essie neighbor? I saw the the guys. Uh, was it Market Street? Yeah, Market Street. We got Market Street. They're in the hood with us. We share the hood with them. They've been there just as long as us since the seventies, and we've always been cool. Everybody gonna have their, oh yeah, issues, but for the most part, those are the homies. That's right. Yeah, I saw that. I saw they pulled up in the. I think it was in the alley when you guys did your interview, yeah. right? And then yeah. you told your story how those guys came through in the yeah. morning. Yeah, I was. I was actually at his house, and we was watching. Alex did some of our rivals before us, maybe like a month before, and um, okay. we was watching it, and he was like, "Hey, man, um, y'all need to do one." But my homie had already reached out to Alex, and he had already told me he was coming down in two, three weeks. So I'm like, bro, we got one coming up. That's right. He was like, damn, can I pull up? I'm like, hell yeah, you can pull up. Like, yeah. it's the homie. Yeah. So, and I thought that it would be a different look. 
no one has ever done anything like that as far yeah. as, especially on street TV yeah, or yeah. any uh -huh. platform for that matter. Yeah. So I wanted my interview to stand out whether I was talking in that one or not. Yeah. I was just kind of in the background on that one. But um, yeah. No, no, that was major. I, and I, I think people that don't really know the streets and all this stuff don't know how big of a step you guys took in, in actually bringing those guys in there. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess this would be a good way to get into um, how how is it that you you guys in San Diego have kept such a good relationship, like brown and black. Obviously, there's beefs. It always mm -hmm. is. But like in Los Angeles, eventually it became where a lot of neighborhoods start beefing each other. So how do you guys think you guys kept that relationship going? Um, That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know how. It just... Yeah. I mean, when you got areas like Oceanside, which is San Diego County, right. yeah. um, I think going from Southeast San Diego, where I'm at, to Oceanside will be like coming from downtown to right here. Okay. okay. Like, it's like that. Yeah, there's a distance. It's yeah. that distance. Yeah. You know, I mean, minus the traffic. How how, how close is it without the traffic? From here to downtown? Yeah. Oh, 20. Yeah. 20. 18, 20 minutes. Okay, nah, it, even with no traffic, it'll take us about 40 minutes to get to Oceanside. Oh, no, that would be, that'd be, I mean, yeah, 15, 20 minutes, but I mean, that's like. No traffic. Yeah, no traffic. And two in the morning. Yeah, two, two in the, in the morning, morning coming up from the bars. Oh, yeah, hey, you know? on, the, on the sick one. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> sick. Exactly. It, it, it'll actually take about 45 minutes from like here to like 35 to South Central or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's how, that's how it is. On an average but, day. But when, when I say, I'm sure some of your homies, some of their homies got into fights before. Yeah. Do, do, is, it, is it maybe the communication you guys have with one another? Yeah, it's more so communication. And it's more so just not stepping on each other's toes. That, res like, that real respect. Right, yeah. That's like, right. It's not... Yeah, but you guys have a bond, like, because you guys are starting the same neighborhood. And yeah. Even as little kids, before it got into rape, racist relationships, you guys were playing with each other. Yeah, right, bikes, going to each other's houses. Oh, and, yeah. yeah, playing back then. Right. Well, yeah. I was going to say back then, playing Atari, but that was hard. Yeah, <laughs> not Atari. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Sega, this is, this Sega. Sega, Sega, Nintendo, Nintendo boy. Madden, R.I.P. Madden. R.I.P. Madden. Yeah, Madden. That's right. Yeah, uh, you know, but yeah, so it was like that. A, like we a could, love we relationship could, already there, because, right? Because you guys grew up as little kids. Yeah, your right. best friend could have turned out to be from Market Street. Yeah, exactly. you know, and actually, um, that's I want to say from Forty Seventh Street to down to the graveyard, which is like Thirty Sixth Street. Now, on the other side of Forty Seventh Street to Euclid, which is like Forty Eighth, Forty Ninth, those streets, um, more my side of the hood by Gompers Park, where the hood actually started. Um, there's an Asian gang over there. Um, and they don't get along with Market Street, and we grew up with both of them. Oh shit! So it's kind of yeah, like we in the middle. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah they're heated rivals. What, what's the Asian gang? If you don't mind me. OKB, Oriental Killer Boys. Oh shit! So, wow, yeah. that's that, yeah, that's gonna be a. Yeah. Do you guys ever kind of you guys in the middle, kind of like hey, like you talk, hey, those guys are cool, or you guys just don't really. We talk stay about out of it, yeah. but you know, you got homies like let's say. If you on this side of 47th Street, you might be closer with the OKBs because ah, yeah. you probably went to Horton Elementary. Ah. Now, if you on this side of 47th Street, you went to uh, Choyus and me, which is on 45th where I went. So you going to know more Market Streets. But yeah. I moved to 49th, so I've lived on both sides, both sides of the hood. Right, so. Yeah. so now, is there is there anybody as far as Market Street that they got the same situation as you guys? I think they get along with other Pyrus or, or Bloods that you guys don't? Um, well, like a, a SA gang? Well, no, like like how, how you guys get along with the Asians, the Asian gang, mm -hmm. and the Asian gang don't get along with Market Street, right? Okay. So is there any other hood that Market Street does get along with, but you guys don't get along with? No. So so they, they so that, that complicated issue is only with the Asian gang? Yeah, okay. it's only with the Asian gang. So you end up going to prison, huh? Yeah. When you went to prison, did you think, all right, I'm going to prison, I'm going to be proud of it, or were you thinking, fuck, I'm going to prison? Nah, I was proud of it. Like most young idiots. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure. Just yeah, I was, making I was sure. proud of it. That was all of us. Yeah. yeah. That, that so, was. so how old were you when you went to the joint? And, and what did you go to the joint for? Um, I was 22. Okay, young man. Um, it was just really a violation. Like, and I don't know if they do it out here, but in San Diego County, you only get a certain amount of time that you could do in the county. Okay. And then once you keep coming back violating, then they finally just... Send you to prison. Probably 16 months would have, two would have. I got two would have. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up going that time. Um, that wasn't that was some bullshit. Right. I'm 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 gonna be completely honest with you. Of course. It was a it was a felony vandalism for striking up on the wall. That's what yeah. I was on probation for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I actually didn't do it, but the two homies I was with yeah. when the police came and it was like us three, yeah. and then I went this way, and those two went walking that way, and the police pulled up on me. 
uh, he kept asking, where's your homies at? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I told him right. just once they seen what we did on the wall, I was like, well, just take me to jail yeah. so I can keep the heat off the homies. Right. And yeah, they yeah. got away. Right. So Now, was that the only time you went in? No, nah, I, um, I did a few violations. But by the time I started doing violations, they was keeping us in the county. They wasn't sending us to prison anymore. This is around 2011, 2012. So every time I violated, I just did a month, two, three months in the county. And I got out, so, and then I caught a gun charge and went back for the four years. Okay, so how was how was your uh, your time in prison? What what was the the worst day? And I'm not. And what was the probably the the happiest day if there ever was? Oh, that's simple. The worst day is when they sent me there, and the, and the <laughs> happiest day is when they released me. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, right? just gotta make sure, man. There's some guys that love it in there, brother. Uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. going in with the worst, coming out with the best. Right. Yeah. As soon as they locked me up, I was like, all right, how long do I got to do? Yeah. When now, it's my day? Now, now, let's be honest, man. Were you one of them cats? I know I was. You come out, you fucking, you kind of flexing, you're proud, and you're kind of glorifying. Were you, you think now as an older yeah. man, you see yeah. yourself glorifying? Yeah, I was. You came out? I actually told the homies I'll be back. Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, yeah. For sure. You, 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 don't, you don't give a shit, right? Yeah, like, hey, I'll see y'all. I'll be right back. So, I was I was I was one of them people raising my hand for anything. Yeah. And like I said, my first term was a turnaround. So when you include the um the month I was in the county and then like the two, three months I was in reception, and then like three, four more months on the yard, and yeah. then my time was up. was up. So even the homies, like the older homies that had been there, was like, Man, you need to chill. You about to go home. Yeah. But if you come back, we got something for you. Yeah. You know, they they wasn't trying to see me crash. They yeah. could have just sent me on anything. Right, right away. They yeah. was like, nah, homie. Yeah. You you notice and it's even an our thing too. Older homies, especially guys who are doing a lot of time or been there, they will tell guys getting out, dude, don't come back to this shit, man. Right. They they yeah. they, they figured out it's a horrible existence. Mm-hmm. Don't come out here. And that's yeah. a good thing. But what do you think? Uh, how long have you been out now? Uh, I've been out since 2015. Okay, okay. yeah. If he was a week, yeah. I'd say, fuck. I would say, yeah, 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 well, yeah, my, yeah. my question was, <laughs> nah, what, I, what do you think <laughs> has kept you out this long? He was going to say, I've been out for two weeks. Like, damn, you yeah, fucking yeah. up, buddy. <laughs> um, just working. Keeping yourself busy. Yeah, for the most part. Um, I'm, I'm still around. Yeah, you no, know? You, yeah. I still, you, you can know. still be around, but that don't mean you, yeah. you got to be in criminal I mean, activity. I, I, I caught a case in 2017 right. um, for another gun. But, uh, yeah, you got to stay dangerous. Man, yeah. you got you to watch out for them burners. I'm, that next burner on me is a third strike. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, I got two strikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be carrying those around no more, man. Nah, they, they can't strike you out for that no more. Hey, you can be like everybody else. I'll call the police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they can't strike you out for that no more. Yeah, they but, do, uh, not. You got to find something legal to carry, like a uh, hammer or something. Yeah, nah, but, um, yeah, they, they pulled me over coming from a homie's funeral. Yeah. Uh, illegally searched my car. Um, I never gave him permission. They actually opened well, the door and pulled me out. Right. Um. So the DA didn't pick it up. So, you know, you have like a year to stay out of trouble after that. Like, yeah. all right, the right. DA ain't refiled on you. But if you do something else, they're yeah, going to file on you just so they can have your back against the wall. Mm-hmm. So a year went by. They never refiled. So that was the last time I caught a case, 2017. But I bailed out. So I didn't really do no time. Yeah. Like, I was in there for like 10 hours. Just a city jump. Right. Yeah. Just a quick check. Like, fuck yeah. This place. yeah. Bailed out. <laughs> went, <laughs> hey, went home, slept for like three hours and went to work. Yeah, That's yeah. right. So. That's right. Hey, I don't, I don't know if you guys did it, but maybe you could ask your older homie that did that with Alonzo. Where did you guys come off with the, where did you guys come up with the poses in jail, homeboy? Those jail pictures. You know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? They're doing this, homeboy. Hey, you know what? You know what? That's a, um. Um. Our county, we always been straight. Of course, it's still racial riots and stuff like that over phones and you know the yeah, normal yeah. shit yeah. or whatever. He walked through the tables. And, yeah, it's not stupid shit. But um, my homie, he on a level four. I forgot what y'all. I want to say he in Corcoran or Delano, one of the two. And um, he said they playing football right now. Yeah. Level four, 180, mainline. Yes. Said they playing football with each other. But he was like, the way they do it.